and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Puff Cap Plunder. This deck is going to be built around Teemo and Sejuani. I'm sure it's a deck that you've seen before. It's been pretty popular over the last couple of months. Teemo being our Puff Cap card and Sejuani being our Plunder card. Um, so we get some alliteration in there because we need, we really want to uh, have Plunder every single round because we want to level up Sejuani as fast as possible. So we want to damage our enemy Nexus in five different rounds. And then once we have leveled up Sejuani, each round that we uh, damage the enemy Nexus, we frostbite all enemies. And the way that we damage the enemy Nexus is with the Puff Caps. So every time our opponent draws a Puff Cap, that's going to count as us damaging the enemy Nexus. So it's a great combo with Teemo and Sejuani. So just beginning, if we can um, have a leveled up Sejuani in play, and they have a whole bunch of Puff Caps, whenever they draw the Puff Cap, boom, immediately frostbite all their enemies. So even if they have the attack token, they can't just go straight to attacks because all their stuff will be frostbitten. So we can kind of lock them down there with the Sejuani. We got a real low curve here in this deck. We have 27 cards that cost two or less mana um, if you include Thermogenic Beam. And so that's, you know, like 65% of the deck or something like that um, around, you know, around there. About, about two out of three, so about 67% of the deck um, cost, costing one, zero, one or two mana. That's pretty awesome. Um, lots of spells. And so we also have like the two most important cards in our deck besides our champions, but maybe even more so our Starlet Seer and Puff Cap Peddler because we're going to be casting a lot of spells. And so we want our bonuses. Each spell that we cast, we want to uh, grant the top ally of our deck plus one, plus one. And we also want to plant three Poison Puff Caps on random cards in the enemy deck. So these are going to be our two really important cards that we're looking for when we're mulliganing and cards that we want to uh, stay alive. So we're going to have our Troll Chance, our Elixir of Irons, those kind of cards help protect Starlet Seer and Puff Cap Peddler. Also have a Spicy Insightful Investigator in here because we do have so many two cost cards. So we can just, you know, it's not something that we're really focused on, but some games maybe we just play Insightful Investigator, it stays alive, and then we start, you know, casting all these two cost cards, which could also include Gotcha, and we can rifle through our deck quickly with that. All right, so that's our deck, Puff Cap Plunder. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. And let's see how we do with good old Teemo Sejuani. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try, but yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Ice Bill Archer. It's definitely my least favorite card in the whole deck. So it's the very first card we see. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan it and keep everything else. <clears throat> Alright, so we're, we're playing against the deck we just played. Which is a very good deck and a very good deck against um, small units, which makes playing a 3-1... Um, less enticing. Now, I know we're playing the Teemo. I just hope they can't kill Teemo right away. Which they have they have a lot of ways to kill Teemo. Make it rain and parlay. So, do not want to see make it rain or parlay. Because like if they don't, we get to... Um, darn. They did, unfortunately, but we get to hit them with Teemo and then cast Shared Spoils. That was really my plan for this game. It's unfortunate when we got paired against the one deck with Parlay. I don't think now I just play another Teemo and let it die as easily. I think that, especially if we had if we had three mana, then I would consider playing it. But we only had three. we did not have three mana. All right. Well, now I have nothing else to play. Ouch. My collection. Yeah, that that card with the tough would definitely be better in this matchup. Really, peddler, I couldn't just have play you last turn. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Shackle the prisoners! I'll blow them to pieces! 
Our opponent's deck's definitely looking good. They grow up so fast. Investigating officer, unit six. It's looking good. Cool. Return. We just kind of save Sejuani a little bit. You know, like, we're forever away from leveling it up. They're doing a great job leveling up their gangplank. They were already going to do damage to us this turn anyway with the Powder Monkey. Oh man, their unspeakable horror hit Lunari Priestess. Calm mind and well, that's great. Greet the night. The best possible. All right, so they're up to 19 pop caps. We'll start drawing those pretty soon. I guess maybe not yet. What once was two wow. now is one. Bow to no one. That one unspeakable horror killed my Teemo and gave him all this. Well, it's kind of silly to be playing. Um, attack. So I, it doesn't make the most sense, in my opinion, to be playing Vile Feast over Unspeakable Horror. It's such a great card. Hey, Enrios, doing good. I refuse. Haven't drawn a puff cap yet, so we still don't have shared spoils turned on. Could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Maybe here? Nope. We're not that lucky. Alright, well, that's most likely game. Winter, take you. So I can cast Shared Spoils and get a Fleeting card and try to hit Troll Chant or Elixir of Iron. Yeah, we'll do it. Hey, how about that? That worked out. Insightful investigators being sweet. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. They're probably gonna start drawing some puff caps now. Probably. Okay, one out of five. <sighs> Almost there. Almost there. Pain is nothing. So unfortunately, I'm only gonna have two mana. I'm always up for a round or two. That is four damage. Dead in their tracks. Starless here. The only reason we're in this game is this insightful investigator. <laughs> no, don't play more spells. Just let this die. Looks like it's probably something that's going to kill all my things, and then also Glimpse Beyond. Called it. It's not too bad. Could be worse. Pretty. 
We're going to just discard the top card of our deck. It's going to be fleeting. Get bloody, get paid. We see through all. Mm. Sorry, Ice Phil Archer, you would have been nice to have. No puff caps there? <laughs> Come on, they didn't draw a puff cap? I need them to draw puff caps. I'm only at one out of five. Don't get to use it here, of course, because I had to click OK on that Mystic Shot to cast it. Probably just use it on the Sejuani. Could use it on Insightful Investigator, too. We'll do it on the Insightful Investigator. I got a backup Sejuani in hand. They gotta start drawing puff caps now, right? Yeah. Shared spoils is just like the best possible draw because it gets us multiple cards. Nice Phil Archer here, I guess. Okay, troll chant. That's another another insightful investigator hit. Don't have Withering Whale. Yeah, they're blocking like Withering Whale. Alright, that does three. Which one of these would be the most important to save? Maybe Insightful Investigator? And that would mean... An auspicious season. That's a really good gotcha draw. Bring me chaos. The facts fall into place. Now it's just doing one. Blessed by snow and stars. We can keep this going. Keep up, keep up. Yeah, draw those cards. Four puff caps. We'll take it. Yes, of course. Another troll chant. Dude, Insightful Investigator has been so clutch. Oh no! Shared Spoils! That's my best card! So they're still at 63 puff caps. <clears throat> Six puff caps. All right, they're almost dead. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. They cannot strike what they yep. cannot see. So that's going to be able to do nine damage to me, put me down to three. In moonlight. The unspeakable horror is just so good. Like all these cards they have are all because of unspeakable horror. <laughs> All of them. Your king has returned. Down to two. Explosives. Yes, they drew six puff caps. Let's go. What a game. 
Careful. What a game. That was definitely one. Alright, Freljord, Shadow Isles. So they are more of a late game deck, that's good. We're gonna keep Peddler and the thing to protect Peddler. Cause, you know, so basically we want to just try to get them lots and lots of puff caps. Blue minion. Dancing minion. Go get him, Starless. Uh, Starless here. And I'll play Peddler too. There was a little fella asking for me. All right, so they pass. So we're in we're in a rough spot here. So I want to attack because of leveling up Sejuani. But I'm not gonna. But they want to play their ramp spell, and I'm not gonna let them play the ramp spell. So therefore, we don't get to attack. So, um, yeah, that hurts as far as leveling up Sejuani. But now, yeah. So now they they have to catalyst of Aeons this turn. They don't didn't get to last turn. And so that was only two damage that we gave up. Attack. Probably wish they were playing Trundle the last turn. Alright, yeah, Mushroom's coming online. Another Catalyst. That's 16. So Teemo's leveled up. I mean, they already played one Catalyst. I wasn't expecting another. Like, if I if I play something else, yeah, they would play Hearthguard and Trundle. That's it's abs the the right play is absolutely to open attack that last turn. I don't regret that one one bit. So Brittle Steel is three health, not three power. <laughs> so you know you can't like troll chant. And Let's give him both of these. 38 puff caps now. Stand and defend. So far, this game's been going how we want, but they've also been ramping really good how they want, so we'll kind of see who and or what gives. I've always been a fun guy. I, I hope not. I do not want to see War Mother's Call, because that's because War Mother's Call ends the game pretty quickly for them. That's their fastest way to end the game, and I don't want this game... Like, a longer game helps me out of, like, gives them more time to draw all these puff caps. Alright, Vengeance. So not War Mother's Call. I, would pre I prefer Vengeance over War Mother's Call. Hopefully no Trundle. Keep draining. Who goes there? Who goes there? They're at 44 right now. I smell a fight. All right, going to just cast the gotcha on this thing right now so that we get to brittle steal it. This would be a good witch 
So it's a 9 9 now. Um, can next turn go Thermogenic Beam? Basically, they can try Mystic Shot first. Problem with Thermogenic Beam is, you know, it takes up all my mana so I don't get to keep Elixir of Iron available. They should be drawing... <laughs> Puppy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Blessed by snow and stars. Should be drawing Puff Caps every turn for the rest of the game, hopefully. Ugh, what are you doing? That's scary. It's pretty scary. Because now they, you know, they have a troll chant. Death itself can't stop me. Our banner will lead the way. This is probably bad news for us. Sorry, a dog is barking at something outside. Something made them go crazy of barking a lot. All right, GG's. They didn't have it. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, Misfortune Gangplank, they're probably going to do a really good job killing Teemo. I don't know. I guess we have the attack token turn one. We should probably just keep Teemo. Um, yeah, I guess we should. We'll keep these. In. Then my Thermogenic Beam kill, like, their one drop. The wiser. That's a good draw. Coming in hot. So which one would I rather block? Because we're going to Frostbite the other one. They both do one damage to me. I guess I would rather block the Grenadier. A true Felyorian welcome. Unfortunately, the no attacks probably means make it rain, and that's pretty brutal. Death doesn't scare me. I don't know if I was supposed to like play the Popcat Peddler first to try to maybe have the Peddler take a damage from make it rain. I guess I was supposed to. That was pretty brutal. Have a mushroom. Have three. Probably a game-winning Mega Rain. Probably. They grow up so fast. Would a mushroom help? No. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Draw some puff caps. Still no puff cap draw. So we could basically go all in 
on this Teemo and hope they don't have a way to kill the Teemo. But I get rid of, like, everything in hand. I don't know. Probably not. We'll just wait. Iron Ballista. Alright, so that's not Gangplank. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Alright, so that will level up Teemo. Alright, 40 puff caps, 30 cards. We're gonna need a lot of help. Basically, ever since that Mega Rain, we're gonna need a lot of help. Use the troll chant. Yeah, yeah, burn. Yeah, this is a, a tough matchup. I mean, we were doing good until the mega rain. The mega rain just won the game for the opponent. But well, the mega rain plus also having a, a great curve with like every other turn being very good too. But yeah, this is a tough matchup because puff cap decks. We want the games to go really long. We want slow decks that take take a lot of turns and draw a lot of puff caps. That's what we want to be facing. My pretties. My opponent not not doing that too much. They're just killing us right away. Pain is nothing. Not expecting to win this. Now you Alright, two and one. Still have had a couple awesome wins. The videos. There's also a playlist with every single region to make it easier to find. So, you know, if you're looking for the Snapbind deck, you can go to, like, the Shadow Isles region, for example. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see, see any of them, but... I remember afterwards talking about it just... A, and that's the thing is, like, at the end of the videos, I usually talk about, like, a couple of changes to maybe make. And I remember talking about a couple of changes to make with that one. All right, so I don't... So, this is difficult. Like, the the Iso Archer, again, is a 3-1. I don't really want to keep the 3-1 against the, the Make It Rain deck. Um, I kept Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron. I was really hoping to find our other 2 and 3 mana cards. And obviously, with drawing no early units... Um... You know, feel pretty bad about these mulligans. Yeah, we did have yeah we did have uh, Snapbind in, in one of the games in the game of the week. That's true. We got to pack mentality Snapbind. That was sweet. Don't kill my Teemo. I don't have any um, any faith that we're going to be winning this game. We're you know we're going to be trying, but this does not look like a game that we're going to be winning. I could use Puff Cap Peddler, especially with these brittle steels. Okay, that's a good draw. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Keep the misfortune from attacking. Can level up our Teemo. Right, 
So get him, Timo. Attack. Man, I really don't like Timo. So the, the one problem with the Elixir of Iron is that I don't get to Thermogenic Beam and kill Misfortune now. But obviously it's something that we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing that card. If they don't break, Never mind. We still get to Thermogenic Beam and kill Misfortune. But should I? Should I? Mm, yeah, I guess we still do. Like, Gangplank's going to be a huge problem. If they have Gangplank, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because I don't... I don't really have the ability to... Oh, I guess I have... I have okay, never mind. I have such wine for Gangplank. I was going to say, I don't really have the ability to use all that, because then my Brittle Steels are gone. <laughs> they still draw zero puff caps. No, you don't have to have Gangplank, you know. You own what you take. Really don't have to have Gangplank. And you can draw puff caps. Well, that went very poorly. They had two gangplanks. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Even worse than one gangplank. Draw a puff cap, please. Come on. Stand and fight. I gotta do the damage myself, I will. The fruits of conquest. See, if we would've just done the damage with the puff cap, we would've had this 3-3 Teemo that hits them and doubled this up also. I still play. Still need a block. Explosives! They still didn't draw a puff cap. They have not drawn a single puff cap this game. <laughs> They've drawn zero. They've had like five draws to draw a puff cap and have not drawn a single one. Spoil the surprise? Show them our teeth. How's that doing for us? All right. Um, yep, that looks good. So still... Better not have Decimate, come on. That's so lame. Last. Alright, same deck again. Unfortunately. This does not seem like a good matchup uh, for us. Especially after our last two decks were both so good in this matchup, and we didn't play it hardly at all, and now we get it all the time. Uh... I don't love four mana gotcha, but I think I still keep it. I do love Elixir of Iron. Let's get to it. Um, I would probably if you're yeah, if you're looking for like a Teemo deck to beat these, I'd probably go Teemo Shadow Isles. With the Shadow Isle spells, with you know, like your like if you want like if you want some Nexus healing, probably that over Ionia. Don't think I would do Ionia. Oh, could talk. I'll have what he's having. So I could level up Teemo this turn with Mushroom Cloud and Elixir of Iron, right? For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. 
that worth it? I'm, you know, just using two cards just to level up Teemo and hit them. I guess it's, it's probably worth it. They grow up so fast. <laughs> so at 16, we'll double that up to 32. Probably still gonna just draw zero. Every turn. Whoa, they drew a puff cap. How about that? No prey, no pay. Oh, the card they just drew was Noxion Fervor. Ugh. That's quite unfortunate. The day don't be riches. What a mushroom help. Beauty Empire. It's quite unfortunate. Hey, Mom, still like a yodeling uniform. You are welcome. Who's ready for the show? Glad you're enjoying them. Oh, that's a harvest right there. <laughs> Back up to 36 puff caps. Draw some more. I promise the blood boss. Ooh, okay, that could be good. We can have like insightful investigator and mushroom cloud and elixir of iron this turn, like where maybe I don't need troll chant quite yet. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe maybe we cast troll chant. Would a mushroom help? Mm. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. <laughs> My pretties. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. Trying to keep my life total pretty high. Not making it easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad I could make quarantine a little better. You're welcome. Lock the door. Need more puff caps. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? It's definitely my plan. So, levels up, Gangplank. Fighting's up. <clears throat> I was hoping we'd be able to attack first before they did that. Don't you dare run. I'll cut my name into you. Unfortunately, this Brittle Steel is fleeting. That would have been a good card to draw next turn to stop this Gangplank. Unfortunately, it's fleeting. Alright, 52 Puff Caps. At least, you know, Jack being gone it means they don't get the free sleep with the fishes. Okay. Just so much burn. Too much burn. GG's. This looks like a really tough matchup. You know, all three of our losses, that same deck. That matchup looks really, really rough. Um, we almost got that first one. I don't know. We we were kind of close in all of them, but yeah, that looks like a really rough matchup. So two and three with Puff Cap Plunder, it, you know, just very general statements. It looks like the other decks that we're playing against, our deck like looked pretty strong. I actually liked how, how our deck looked and, and the other matchups looked pretty good. 
but Bilgewater and Oxus looks like a horrible matchup. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you play the, the good deck against Burn. Remember when we played the anti-Burn deck the other day and played against the Burn zero times, and sometimes you play the deck that's not good against Burn, and you play against Burn three times in a row. That's how it goes. But if... Yeah, so I mean, decks aren't usually good against every, every single thing. But if you're good against everything besides Burn, you're probably not going to be playing against Burn 60% of the time. Probably. So over the long haul, I could see having some good success with this kind of deck. The one of Insightful Investigator was amazing. Icefall Archer was pretty meh. But yeah, I mean, this is a, it's a fun deck to play. Winning with this deck is really, um, really rewarding. And we saw that first game was so cool. That'll be on our games of the week for sure. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that keeps playing against the worst opponent. So why not play this one? Yeah, so I was saying that um, I really like having Troll Chant in here and having both Elixir of Iron and Troll Chant now and having six cards that are really efficient protection spells for keeping Puff Cat Peddler and Starlet Seer alive. That's really awesome. Definitely like that a lot. And of course, like I said, definitely like the Insightful Investigator. Um, that was really cool too. And especially at Cyphal Investigator with Gotcha, we got some cool things to, to go along with that. So I like our list. I like everything basically, except for Ice, Icefield Archer is definitely my least favorite card in here. Um, well, that and Thermogenic Beam, but Thermogenic Beam was good for us. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's really anything better. You know, you, you can play Ruthless Raider. I don't know if that like improves your burn matchup that well. It doesn't die to make it rain. So that's good. Not dying to make it rain. Um, so that's an option, I suppose. But uh, besides that, um, maybe maybe just that should just be veteran investigators. Honestly, like veteran investigator can just be a blocker early. You know, it's a three-two. Maybe that's what it should be. It's just a three-two early. But then later on, like if you're doing your thing and you're giving them all the puff caps and everything, then it's you know it's a both player draw one where they're probably drawing a bunch of puff caps and that can win you games but then it can also just be an early blocker. Maybe that's what's supposed to be. Um, you could also just play Omen Hawk and just have something to block Legion Saboteur immediately with the Omen Hawk. Um, could also be Avaros and Sentry. Maybe Avaros and Sentry would be better. Uh, just, you know, last breath draw a card. Drawing cards is always good. And then, you know, like I definitely would not have mulliganed Avaros and Sentry in that other game against Burn. There we go. All right, that's Puff Cap Plunder, though. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to let me know. What do you think would be the best card to put in this slot here? Do you like Icefield Archer? Um, or do you have any other ideas? You know, Do you like Ruthless Raider? Do you like Avaros and Sentry? What do, you, what do you like there? But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.